Hey guys, welcome to Vlog24. Before we start, I just want to- Screw that slow talk! Let's have a one minute let's play! Let's go! We're playing Dot Hack Infection Part 1 on the PS2. Let's go. This is our first boss battle. This game's a lot slower than you think. You go into your menus a lot in this game. Killed her already. The whole point of the game, the data drain, the only way to beat a boss. This game has a lot to do with viruses and data and knocking things down to the next level, using this. Kind of confusing. Viral infection has spread. Virus course C. Now we can hurt it. Data drain again. Drain. Every time you use data drain, the enemy gets knocked down a level and gets weaker and weaker and weaker. Wow, he's just a skeleton. So that's it for the first boss battle, guys. Evil. All right, another Sunday vlog. We're gonna hit up a Goodwill, have some mini topics, and that's really about it. All right, let's go in. They just left me with all these PlayStation games from behind the counter. I'm gonna give them back. <laughs> I don't want them. I hope someone comes and gets them. I don't want someone to take them. They had some N64 games up at the front. The ones that stood out were Gex and Shadow Man. Five dollars. Mm, I'll pass up. It's still here because no one's gonna pay seven dollars for a PlayStation controller. See? Check this out. I might pick that up. I'm not sure. I just hate there's no rhyme or reason what games they put behind the counter. I don't even mean under the glass. I mean just behind the counter and what they just leave out for stock. Like, that's so stupid. If they're trying to protect video games from being stolen, then don't put any out near the floor. I can't tell you how many Goodwills I've gone to and the games are just gone out of their cases. I have bought a case for 55 cents from Goodwill, so if you're ever looking for cases and there's nothing in it, they'll probably sell it to you for 55 cents. Remember these jam packs? It's everything that's playable. You know, I've never played the original Warcraft games. Hey, original PlayStation. I wonder if it's in there. Whoa! Whoa, it's in there. Like a bird, I want to fly away. Do yourself a service and check out Chumbawamba. Dennis and D. Reynolds recommended. You know what LL stands for? Ladies love. Give it to me, baby, give it to me. Do you just not have time to throw a party? Well, get party to go, too. I can't do my bit. I'm nervous. Found the half shell, but where's the hero? Turtle power? I loved Kaibo Ren. I just wish I could find a Scooby-Doo edge glass. Guys! Oh man, we found one. That is just the weirdest thing. Of course, it has a crack all the way through. Johnny Five is alive! Want to clarify something? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 was never called Turtles in Time. It was only three. It wasn't until way later, due to just people calling it Turtles in Time, that they started slapping Turtles in Time on the cases. Let's break the cycle here. All right, I think we've looked through everything we can. Ooh, wait, what's this? X-Men book. Whoa! Who cares? None of you read. That's why you watch YouTube. Just kidding. I'm sure a lot of you read. Reading is good. Always read. Let's bounce up out of here. I guess let's go back home. Let's go talk about some mini topics. Mini topic time. Mini topic number one. If you've been following the Game of Thrones series at all, you know that season eight will be the final season in the run. You've probably also heard that it's not airing until 2019 because they're still storyboarding it as we speak. With that being said, there has been an announcement by an HBO executive. It's possible that we might be getting season eight in 2018. Of course, it's nothing set in stone. Like I mentioned, the creators are still storyboarding Season 8, and it's supposed to be big. Really big. Most people would want the Season 8 as soon as possible, but I kind of want it to come out in 2019. I want that break in between Season 7 and 8. I kind of want to keep the lore alive, so to speak. This leads me into a subtopic. It's also been said by the HBO executive that once Game of Thrones is over after season eight, that they are in the talks for four different spin-off series that would take place before the events of Game of Thrones. That's pretty exciting. Mini topic number two. So Sam Witwer, and if that name sounds familiar, he is the voice of Darth Maul, 
in Star Wars Rebels. He was also the main protagonist in The Force Unleashed and The Force Unleashed 2 as Galen Merrick slash Starkiller. Sam Witwer went on to say that Starkiller was almost in Rebels, which would have been kind of weird. He was probably the most overpowered Force user we had ever seen. I mean, he brought down a Star Destroyer, for crying out loud. It wouldn't have really made sense, because if you played the original Force Unleashed, there were two endings. The good one, where Galen Merrick dies, and his family crest basically becomes the symbol for the Rebellion. I hated that. And the bad ending was he kills Darth Vader, and he becomes the new cyborg apprentice of the Emperor. Both kind of lame. But we already know that the game is not canon, of course. But they were in talks to put him into Rebels as one of the Inquisitors. Which would have been kind of cool just to see him and go, Wow, they, they, really, they really recycle every idea they get. They always use it somewhere, somehow. From the Holocron, they use the ideas. Which, I will give that to Star Wars. I do really like that. That no idea is pretty much ever wasted. Just because it hasn't been used or reused at this point doesn't mean we won't see it down the line, whether in books, comics, video games, movies, TV shows, whatever. Anyway, just a cool little topic I thought I'd throw out there. And that's it for my mini topics. Evil. That's it for this vlog, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And if you like any of this stuff, please leave a like or a comment or subscribe. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I will see you next vlog. Hey, Luigi. Yes, Mario? Is the vlog over? I think it is. Oh, well, let's get out of here. It's-a me!